Hi everybody, um, it's Julie from over at Wicked Little Studios. As you can see, I'm no longer in my living room. I actually have my office and my studio set up, sort of. Um, Zoe is quite happy to have me on a place other than my couch. She is remembering how much she loved this chair when it first came home to her, aren't you baby? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm a crazy cat lady, I talked to my cat, what can I say? So. I decided that I was going to do sort of a review vlog and let you guys know what's going up and what's going on. So I haven't been a total slacker, just so you guys know. It's because I haven't updated the webcomic doesn't mean I'm not producing art, case in point. I did a signing a few weeks ago at New England Comics in Brockton, and I got a lot of commission orders from it. And one of them that I got that was really kind of cool that I want to share with you guys is this pick of Raven um, from Teen Titans, clearly. I don't often do a lot of background, particularly in commissions, because I just don't, I don't charge enough for the supplies, really, I don't. Um, but I thought it was pretty badass, and I sort of wanted to share it with you guys, just so you can see what's going on. And I'm hoping that later in this week, or next week, I'm going to be doing sort of a side-by-side -side line shot. I'm going to take a character, um, probably a well-known character, so probably a DC character and um, walk you through everything from the layout to the pencils to the inks to the coloring stage. So this way you guys can actually see what I do and why it takes me, you know, way too long. See, Mom, I didn't cuss. Um, way too long to release a comic. That said, now if you guys are following me on here or you're watching me here and you're already fans of Wicked Little Studios and Wicked Unscripted, are you following me on Twitter? And if you are, that's fantastic. Please let me know. Send me a little shout out to Jewel, to you know, at Wicked Julie. And um, let me know. And let me know what you guys want to see from the comic when it's relaunched. I, I really want to get your feedback. But if you aren't a fan of Wicked Little Studios yet, and you haven't read Wicked Unscripted yet, I think you guys should get to it. Go check us out at www.wickedlittlestudios.com. And while I was cleaning out my office and going through about 50 different bags and boxes of just stuff and junk that I have acquired over the last 25 years, I came across, I kid you not, over 20 sketchbooks. 20. Aging um, from 1996 all the way up until now, which means I have found embarrassing junior high art. Like, holy oh my god. This must be what it's like when, you know... My, some of my brother's age uncovers, you know, the pictures of them from high school where they've got the greasy grunge hair and they're wearing the Nirvana t-shirt, you know. They've got the Bic tattoos down the arm and stuff. That's what I think. Anyway, it was embarrassing. It's It was bad. But anyway, so here's the deal. In my travels, I found stuff like this. Have you ever seen this comic? No, you haven't. Why? Because it never got published on the site. This is one of the 55, 55 comics that when my site admin Pete was running my site, oh, hey, suddenly I look a lot better now, that when my site admin Pete was running my site, never got up. And when Pete stopped running my site and Mike took over, Mike had no idea that I had comics like this. And um, it's not that Mike wouldn't have put them up. Mike absolutely would have. It's the fact that between Pete and Mike taking over my site, I lost four computers. That's right, four. I am the, the mastermind of making computers and CPUs go, Boom. And they said, I'm fire. I'm not kidding, and it wasn't Adele. So, that said, there's a lot of art of mine that just has gotten lost. Just completely, it, it's on an island. No one knows where it is. Um, that's a bad joke. Damn. So, if you guys start following me on Twitter, I will, and you send me a shout out to Wicked Julie on Twitter. I will then give you guys password and username to a secret file <laughs> with the use of either Flickr or Photobucket or some sort of variety because I don't want to make Mike put up a password safe. I'm trying to figure out how to work this light. 
um, some sort of password secure thing on my website because I don't think that would work very well. I'm blinding the cat right now. Okay, there's no way for you guys to like actually... This is annoying. Um, hopefully I'll have my lighting problems fixed out before the next video. But, um, so I'll figure out a way to get you guys to actually be able to see these old sketches. Now, some of them are complete comics, like that one is. Um, some of them are incomplete. Some of them are just scripts. Some of them are pencils. Some of them are inks with no script. But I'll find a script and I'll put it to it. So, as a preview... Uh, just so you know what's going on, I spent a year and a half working as a sous chef in a high-end resort and restaurant here on the Cape. I was right below the executive chef. The sous chef's in charge pretty much running the kitchen whenever the executive chef isn't around. And when you're a woman and you work in the culinary field, if you aren't good you better have a mouth and some cojones, my friends, because believe me, it's a lot of trash talk that goes on. Um, I kind of miss working in kitchens, but at the same time, not that much. The hours suck. So I want to do a couple of things, and I'm figuring with four minutes left, I'm going to do the second one. So I have some art that I kind of want to share with you guys that I keep in my studio. This is a wonderful picture of a pirate versus a ninja. And it's by my friend, oh, it's backwards, but it's by my friend Chris Gibbs. And Chris is a very dear friend of mine. I call him Kenji the White Ninja because he's a very large man, very large and intimidating, big heart, big hands, big bald head. Just, I love Chris. I adore him to death. But um, he walks more silently than the cat. Chris has become infamous for scaring the bejesus out of me at conventions because he'll suddenly just come up from behind. All right, I need to get something here is apparently what I need to do with this lighting situation. Um, I'll come up from behind and nowhere and just hug me or whatever. So I love Chris and he knows that I'm a massive pirate because yar and uh, which I do at shows. I yar, I yell, con, I'm... A nutball. Nobody loves sitting next to me at conventions anymore. Except for maybe Zeke. <laughs> That's because he's just as screwy. Anyway, so I have a pirate ninja. Um, Chris did this, I think, in like 20 minutes. It was his warm-up for a day. So at the next show that he saw me, he gave this to me. And I love it. So this is my, my original Chris Gibbs. I own an original. I have other art that I'm going to show you guys in other vlogs. It's just these are the ones right now that are on my desk. Um, this is from my friend Jason Casey. Now, Jason, I love, he's actually a, a, a pop artist. He's not a comic artist, but, um, he does photorealistic work 99.9% .9 of the time. And he's actually my fancy pants artist friend because he actually went to art school. I, who have never taken a real art class in my life beyond the high school level, find that impressive. So... At the end of a show, he was giving away prints to people who had sat near him, and I apparently was keeping him cracked up for most of the show. So I scored his Joker print, which I love. I believe that Jason no longer sells this print. I Don't quote me on that. He might. I don't know. Um... But yeah, that's some of my art, and that's some of my studio, and I really didn't accomplish anything in 10 minutes, but you guys got to see a cat. So say hi, Zoe. Or you're just going to cling to it for dear life, you know. Whatevs. Uh, I hope you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.